So hey everyone, welcome again on Devish Tag. In this video, we are going to cover that how you can stay logged in with your to-do app or how you can log out from your to-do app. Like if you log in with your to-do app, then what going to happen till the last video that after refreshing the page, you went again on a sign up page like that. That was the last scenario. But in this video, we are going to add the feature like after refreshing the page. Also, you will again go on a home page if you already logged in to your to do app. OK, and the second thing we are going to add the logout button as well. So remember, this is not the exactly UI of the home page. We will going to work on the UI of the home page in the next coming video. But for the showing you that how you can log out from your to do app, I added this button and after clicking on this button, you will go on a sign up page. OK, so if again, you will refresh, then you will again come on a sign up page. OK, so this feature we are going to add in this video. So please watch this video till the last. OK, and before I will start the coding, just make sure that you uninstall your old version of Flutter Firebase to do app. OK, please make sure to uninstall your old version of the Flutter Firebase to do app. OK. Why? Because in the last video, we already logged in with the Gmail and we haven't logged out. So it will give you some issue. So please make sure to uninstall your old version of to do app. OK, and let's start the coding. But before that, please make sure to subscribe the channel. So let's start the coding. And uh, what I'm going to do that I'm going to first store the token, which we will get from the Firebase after the login. So for that, storing the token, I always use the Flutter Secure Storage plugin. So I had to use it and we are going to store the token. So remember, you have two options to stay logged in with your app. You can use the Flutter Auth package itself. That Flutter Auth package will check that you are logged in or not. Or you can store the token and check the token that if you have the token, then you already logged in with your app. If you don't have the token, then you are not logged in with your app. So I always prefer to use the token based uh, checking. So that's why I again going to use the Flutter Secure storage package for storing the token. And I'm going to check that token on a main dot dot file. So I will show you that how we can do it. But let me first go here and see what are the dependency we have to do. Like first thing to use the Flutter Secure storage package. We have to use minimum SDK version 18. So let me go on a build.gradle file inside the source folder and increase the minimum SDK version to 18. And here I install the new app for you that I install the old version and install the new version of app. OK. And after that, we have to use the Flutter secure package in the auth service file. And after importing it, we can initialize the Flutter secure package like that. Just after the auth. And now what I'm going to do that I'm going to create a new method for it. The method will be future wide the name will be store token and data and we are going to get the user credential as the parameter user credential as the parameter and how we can store the token so here only we have the option to writing so with help of this the storage dot write you can store anything so let me just store the token first not this i have to copy this one and uh, let me make this method as a sync and await the key will be the token and the value will be the token and how we will get the token with help of the user credential dot credential dot token and uh, the token is a type of in so what I'm going to do that I'm going to convert 
it on a two string because this value parameter always take the string as a parameter and the second thing i'm going to store is the user credential because at some point of time we will need the user data so i'm going to store the user credential as well with help of the user credential dot to string okay and let's call this method before navigating from this screen okay so i'm going to call this store token and data method here and i'm going to pass the user credential which we are getting after the sign in with the credential with the firebase okay so what going to happen with help of that is it will going to store the token on the flutter secure storage okay oh. and we have to check that token in the main dot dart file and how we can check that token let me first create a new method get token here only and why i'm creating it you will get to know it uh, it will not be a white it will be a future a string and it will going to return the token with help of the storage it will be a sync storage dot read so the name we use to store the token that key we have to provide over here and it have to make it a sync and await oh, we have to use await here sorry so what the exactly we are doing that first we are storing the token with help of the store object of the flutter storage and with help of the right we can store anything we have to provide the key and the value and to read that thing from this flutter secure package we have to use the store dot read and provide the exact key which you use here so this method will going to return the token okay so let me go on a main dot dart file and in the main dot dart file uh, what i'm going to do so this was the old code i'm not going to use this code what i'm going to do that i'm going to create a current page variable and i'm going to assign the current page variable as the sign up page just see one by one that what i'm going to do and i'm going to use the init state and in the init state what i'm going to do that i will first create a new method called check login and here i'm going to import the auth class first auth class which have the all the information okay and with help of this auth class what i'm going to do that i'm going to get the token token equal to auth class get token and remember that was the future so we have to use the async and await so see what we are doing here in the auth service we created the get token method with help of this method we are going to get the token and we are storing that token here so if the token is exists which mean we already logged in with your with our app okay if there is no token which mean we haven't logged in with our app so we can write a condition here if token is not null which mean we logged in with our app then this current page i'm going to set the state and the current page will be the home page okay so earlier the current page was the sign up page but if the token exists then the current page will be the home page and we have to use this current page here only okay so now we are rendering the home page in the sign up page conditionally if the token exists then the current page will be the home page which mean user is already logged in if the token is not exist then the current page will be the 
sign up page which means the user is not logged in and user have to log in with the app okay so if i will refresh the page and uh, if i will again log in with the gmail let me log in with the gmail okay and now we logged in with the gmail but here we are getting some kind of issue okay this kind of issue we will get because the plugin is not yet configured with our app so what we can do that we can just stop the app again and we can run the app again okay but i think we have to make sure to just uninstall the app again because we logged in and we haven't log out from the app so please make sure to uninstall the app again and uh, start the new version of the app again okay so till that i'm just pausing the video so the app is started and let me just call this check login method in an init state and let's test it so i will click on a google sign in and i will sign in using the dev stack then it will go i mean it will do the sign in and it will go on a home page and if I will click on a refresh, then you can see that we are still in a home page because we already stored the token and based on the token, we are checking the login status. Okay, so this functionality we achieved. Now let's achieve the logout functionality as well. So if, so if I will go on a home page, we don't have anything yet, but in app bar, what I'm going to do that I'm going to add a logout button okay so this UI is not the UI I'm working the UI video of the home page I will upload soon I'm just wanted to show you that how it will going to work after the logout icons dot logout there is a logout icon available okay and uh, in on press we will going to perform the logout thing so Again, I'm going to go on a home page, uh, on art service and I'm going to create a new method that will be a future wide logout. Okay. And uh, it will again uh, async and await. And what we have to do here. So again, I will going to add the try and catch a block here. And if you log in using the Google sign in, then we have to use this Google sign in object. And in the Google sign in object, first we have to log out from the Google. So in a Google sign in, we have the option of the sign out. So we sign out from the Google. And the second thing we have to do that we have to sign out from the Firebase as well so await or dot sign out and the last thing we have to do is we have to delete the token which we stored okay so how we can delete this token with the help of the this await dot storage instead of delete we have the option called delete so it will going to delete the token as well okay so now we have to call this logout method inside the home page just we created a object of the auth class we are going to create a new object on a, of the auth class here as well and this auth class object we are going to call here so it will be a async and uh, await the auth class sign out oh logout so, and after the logout we have to navigate or we have the code the navigator dot push and remove until okay so after the 
logout functionality happen we have to go on our sign up page again and we will delete everything from the stack of the flutter so that's why we are using the push and remove until so all the pages will be removed from the stack okay so all the thing we added here now we can test it that it's working fine or not so if i will click here then we are logging uh, i mean we are logged out from the app and if i will again refresh the page then you will see that we will land into the sign up page only we are not going to land into the home page because token is also deleted so let's test it again so if i will log in then we will go on a home page and uh, if i will refresh then we will be still on a home page because we already stored the token and we will log out then we will go on a sign up page now so only one last thing i have to go on a sign in page in the sign in page like we did on a sign up page so in a sign up page we created the auth class and in the home page let me i mean in the sign in page let me go and let me create the object of the auth class and import this auth class and with help of the auth class we are going to use the google sign in so let me go on a login page here also we have the option of the continue with google where we have to use the on tap method so let me go here in a button item and uh, let me wrap it with widget call in well just we did in a last video for the google sign in i mean sign up page on tap and we will going to get a function call on tap here function on tap i let me pass the function here so that is a bonus video you can do it by your own but i wanted to complete it as well so so from the continue with google we have to call the auth class google sign in and pass the context that's it and now in a both the pages in a sign in and sign up pages we added the feature of the google sign in and the email and password sign in so if i will click here then it will sign in with the google and we will going to go on a home page okay that's it for this video so in the next video let's complete the functionality of the phone out okay till that please don't forget to subscribe the channel and also like the video and share the video and let me know that this series is helping you or not on the comment section thank you all happy coding